Hey guys, this is Crystal High Queen. Welcome to my channel. So today we'll do a general collective reading. This is going to be for the 22nd of November 2022 Tuesday, but it might resonate whenever you come across this video, guys, as it's a general reading. It's just energy and not gender specific. Please flip the roles if that's how it's resonating with your own situation. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I love you. Thank you. Um, if you feel guided to reach out to me, all my details are given below in the description box, guys. <clears throat> okay, so let's um, let's start. Let's just jump right in. What's the strongest energy for tomorrow, please, for the 22nd of November 2022, Tuesday? What's happening for the collective, for that person? What is the strongest energy playing out on the 22nd of November 2022? Thank you. Okay, so we have hostilities. Number 26. Hmm, we have the temple path, number 12. We have Angel of Love, number 49. Patience in the Reverse, number 16. We have six, um, number six, Contract. Um, so this could be actually Sagittarius and Libra energy. <clears throat> okay, and just one last card. We have Door to Spirit. Hmm. All right, so um, at the bottom of the deck, we have Attachment. Okay, so I'm seeing here that somebody is feeling very impatient. There's a need to maintain balance and just really act out of unconditional love towards themselves, towards others. We have hostilities as the first card here. So there could be somebody, somebody involved in your life or this person is perhaps seeing you in this way. They feel that there's a lot of, like there are a lot of hostilities here. Perhaps if they try and reach out to you, there'll be a hostility, there, there could be some harsh words spoken, or perhaps there are no words spoken, so you could be feeling a lot of hostility towards someone, perhaps you want clarification, you want some communication from somebody, right, but <clears throat> perhaps they're not doing it, so perhaps you could be feeling a little bit hostile towards this other person. The thing is, you could be you or this other person, whoever I'm picking up on for the 22nd, um, you could be feeling a bit impatient, right? So there's, it's really essential to maintain balance and to really forgive yourself and this other person in this situation, right? Because spirit is trying to tell you something. Um, perhaps there are signs that you could be receiving that this person will communicate with you when they feel at peace with themselves. They, they will communicate with you because they, they perhaps are thinking about communicating with you. But because with this hostilities here, they feel like they are a bit intimidated or scared of your reaction, right? Something like that. So the angels, your your spirit guides, you could be getting signs and synchroni synch synchronicities to really just maintain balance because this person will be coming to you very, very soon. We have number 26, so something could be happening on the 26th of November, right? This could be like this weekend, something could be happening. This person could be coming in with communication on the around the 26th right? Because that's the first card here. But really, just pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. You'll understand what's holding this person back and whether or not they are about to come forward to communicate with you, okay? So yeah, um, with hostilities and temple path, I feel whatever this delay is, it's protection, 
like the divine is trying to protect you from from what can go down what can go south in this situation so perhaps the delay is best right now it's it's divine protection 515 on the clock guys so yes definitely whatever you are feeling any um like any feelings or energy that is unnerving to you that is really not letting you rest or if you are angry or mad or feeling hostile towards somebody it, it's going to pause guys right it's it's going to get over so you really don't need to worry this will change a good change is already on the way <clears throat> so let's see What's happening on the 22nd of October, please? What is the energy here? What's happening, please? So that's the gist of, of tomorrow's energy. This could be you. This could be your person. Just take it how it resonates, please. Well, so we have, hmm, we have the Knight of Cups. So this person is definitely feeling very, very romantic towards you. They want to express their emotions. They could be feeling very expressive. Um, now, they, this person could be coming in soon, not immediately perhaps, but they could be coming in soon. Like this could be within a week from now. Oh yeah, they are coming, guys. We have the Knights, Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. So they are feeling very romantic towards you. And it's like their head is in the cloud. They could be coming in all hot and passionate for you. Right, so let's see. What's happening on the 22nd, please? What is the energy here? Hmm. So we have the Six of Cups in the reverse. This person definitely misses you, but they feel that there is a lot of disappointment here. Perhaps they have disappointed in you. And that is why they are very mentally conflicted. They're embarrassed for what happened in the past okay so yeah let's see what's happening on the 22nd please what's happening on the 22nd of november tuesday <clears throat> what's the energy here on the 22nd hmm, i'm just trying to shift my cars but it feels like it's still going out of the screen What's happening on the 22nd, please? Oops, so many cards. Well, <sighs> okay, so we have the hanged man. Yes, so this situation is definitely on a pause right now on the 22nd. Okay, if you were expecting some kind of a communication, if you're expecting some kind of clarification or closures from this person, it's on hold, guys, on the 22nd. Okay, um, or this person is pausing. They're pausing for a moment. Perhaps they're trying to think what's the best way to approach you, what's the best thing to say to you. We have Pisces energy with the hand man here. Okay, so yeah, let's see. Yeah, so Page of Cups. So what's the best way to express themselves? That's what they are pondering upon. Sorry about the background noise, guys. Oh my god. Yep, the bullet is here, guys. So annoying, right? <clears throat> um, perhaps they're so conflicted and disappointed because whatever happened in the past was like taking a bullet on the heart okay so perhaps they were they're really not prepared right now they, they really do want to come forward they're feeling all this passion and romance for you but then again they're very conflicted because they don't want to disappoint you like what, like how they disappointed you in the past. Yeah, so we have Justice Libra energy again. Yeah, so 
Perhaps you caught on to their lies, on their manipulation. You know that they were being very unjust, unfair. Perhaps they were gaslighting you in some way. Okay. So, and you just really, you just called off their bullshit. And it, it really, it might have disappointed you. And they, in turn, they just disappointed and embarrassed themselves. <clears throat> So that's why they are on this pause on the 22nd. Let's see. Mm, oh yeah, High Priestess. So yeah, um, in case you are feeling all anxious or in case you're feeling very restless on the 22nd with a High Priestess, I'm getting that you could be catching up on this person's energy because they are feeling very um, conflicted, embarrassed, very in, you know anxious and fearful because they do want to come forward is what I can see here but they're very conflicted on how to do that whether or not they should do it right now right so we have heavy Pisces and Libra energy here guys <clears throat> heavy Pisces and Libra okay let's see what else hmm. so we have the nine of wands but this person will stand up. They will give it another shot. Believe it or not, they will. Right now, they're just taking a pause. They're thinking for a moment, but they will come forward. Yes, see, we have the King of Swords, Aquarius energy. Could be any air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So yes, they will come forward to communicate. This could be a truth coming from them about what happened in the past, why they were doing the things that they did in the past. Okay, so yes, um, they will come into this action mode very soon. Hmm. What's, what was keeping them apart from you? What was making them so nervous? Why were they contemplating this situation so much? So they are, I think they're about to come clean in some way. They are about to express themselves to you in some way. Yeah, and why were they holding back from you is, is what I'm getting here. Okay. You will also pick up on this energy where you know that they want to come forward, but they're holding themselves back because they're really mentally conflicted on the 22nd. So just really pay attention to all the signs and synchronicities because this person, it's not like they don't want to talk to you. They do want it. I can see it very clearly, but they're holding themselves back. They're pausing for a moment to understand what's the best way to approach this but I'm seeing here they will come forward they can't hold back here they will come forward yeah see knight of swords so you might need to be a little more patient guys right give this person some space let them decide what's the best time to make their move what's the best time yeah because see they, they see you as this queen of wands in the reverse they see you somebody like of course queen of wands is a very beautiful confident bold charismatic queen but in the reverse this could be someone who's angry right some like she's a bit of a chaser basically but i'm i'm getting that she like if you are this queen of wands here you're not chasing this person but of course whatever is happening if this person is not approaching you it could be making you a little bit upset and angry. So just really, you need to calm down and just, you know, allow this person this time to contemplate. Let them think. Let them have that time. Don't expect too much. Okay? Because they are coming in. I can see that. They will be coming in soon. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles. Hmm, let's see. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here, please, on the 22nd? Seven of Swords. Okay. So either this person sees you as somebody who's very angry with them because this person perhaps lied to you in the past about some kind of a commitment. Okay, perhaps they told you that they're not ready for a commitment. 1441 on the clock, guys. So yes, you, you could be reverse mirroring. If you were ready for a relationship or commitment, this person was giving you excuses why they are not ready. 
Okay, so basically they could have been lying to you about commitment. Perhaps they were already committed to somebody else. So this could be, this could go a lot of ways, guys. This, this could just really mean a lot of things to all of you. So you'll have to just, you know, pick what resonates with you. <clears throat> Let's see, why is the Ace of Pentacles here, please? Ooh, okay, so we have the Magician. For some of you, you could also be manifesting a lot of wealth. This could be like a lot of uh, money coming into your life, a windfall of money, financial abundance. You are manifesting this. We have the Magician. Okay, and we have the Three of Swords in the reverse. Let's see, why is the Magician here? All right. Hmm. Okay. So um, for some of you, I'm getting that this person has been manifesting you. They, they were wanting you to come to them. They were wanting you to start talking to them. Perhaps they were waiting on communication from you, right? Because perhaps this person was not showing it anyone. But they were really very anxious and angry that you are not in communication with them. They were manifesting you constantly thinking about you. Perhaps this person has come to a realization that they do hold feelings for you. The passion that they feel for you is unreal. They don't feel it for anyone else. And really this separation, this time of separation has been really hard of, on them with the three of swords in the reverse. It's like nothing was able to heal their heart in this time of separation. Yes, Four of Pentacles, this person holds you very close to their heart, but they don't say things about, like they don't express this. They like to keep quiet about all these feelings. They, It's like they don't, they can't even say it out loud to themselves, what they feel about you. It's like a forbidden love. It's, it's all because they don't want hostilities, right? They don't want hostilities. Perhaps there are other people who are not supporting this connection or perhaps they're just very scared of your anger or, you know, them making you upset or mad in some way. So this person just, you know, they, they keep very quiet and mum about their feelings, what, what they truly want. Okay, so yeah, let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> we have the Two of Cups, guys. Oh, my God. This person is in love with you, whether you believe it or not. They see you as their true match. You both could be really good looking. Perhaps this person perceives you as their true match, not only just mentally, right? Or uh, like... This is like a true match, physically, mentally, spiritually, just really compatible. Two people looking good together wherever they go, eyes turn, heads turn. So yeah, let's see. So either this person could be coming in, in like in the next one week or for some of you it could be in the next two weeks that this person could be approaching you. So yes, yeah, some some patience is required here. Yeah, death. Because this person is going through a real, real big transformation right now. Perhaps their ego is being crushed down. Perhaps they're working on themselves. Oh yeah, so we have the five of wands. So this is like that inner conflict jealousy, ego, right, pride coming in the way. So the divine is making sure that this person just really dissolves all this before they can come to you. Because if they come forward to you in, in that kind of an energy, it's really not going to serve any purpose, right? They'll, there will be manipulation, gaslighting again. So you really need to give this person some space, right? If you were if you texted this person, if they haven't responded to you, give them the space, guys. Just don't expect a text, right? Um, or if you are thinking about texting this person, just then, like if you are really intuitively feeling about um, that you should actually communicate to this person, you can send this text message or whatever, okay? But 
but don't expect because this person needs some time to understand their feelings. I think they already do know, but they're very conflicted because perhaps they don't understand why they feel this way for you, okay? We have five of wands in the reverse, hostilities in the reverse. So this person is basically very scared of getting into a conflict or a fight with you in some way. They don't want that. They don't want to fight with you. They don't want you to blame them for what happened, right? So all that blame game and just pushing and pulling, ego and word clash. They don't want all that. So perhaps this person is taking some time out to understand what's the best way for me to approach this, whether or not this is the time to make my move, whether I should wait for some time, right? So let this person handle their thoughts on their own you can actually just do what you want and just move on with your life don't expect too much in, re in return it should all come from a place of love guys i know it's it's easier said than done but then really that's that's what our higher self is trying to teach us right if you are expecting something in return, that's your ego, that's fear of rejection coming in the way. And you're just simply putting your higher self out of the way, which is not which is not this ascension is all about, right? We have to do things from a place of love and not from a place of fear of rejection or ego. So yes, and I can see that you might have been waiting on this person to come in with communication, some kind of a clarification, some kind of a closure, but perhaps this person is taking some time, which could be making you a little bit impatient or angry or mad. So really, you just need to calm down. Foc just put your focus on something else, guys, something that you really like to do. Don't, don't think about this person. Just let them go. Let them do what they want and you do your own thing. Okay, so some guidance, please. What does the collective needs to know? What is their guidance for the 22nd of November? We have the void. Okay. <clears throat> we have mother praise. cosmic butterfly yeah so yeah guys again with the void here um you could be feeling some type of way on this on the, on the 22nd the collective that i'm picking up on today <clears throat> you could be feeling very left out in the cold perhaps you know because you were expecting some communication or whatever from this person so you could be feeling a little left out in the cold or perhaps, you know, you really don't understand the purpose. You don't see the purpose right now. What's the purpose of your journey? What are you doing here? So there could be some, you know, because we, we had that um, hanged man. And hanged man is a very spiritual card. Okay, so you could be actually pausing for a moment. You, you could be trying to understand where do I go from here? What do I do now? What is the purpose of my life? You could be feeling a little bit isolated or you could be isolating yourself. <clears throat> so with the mother praise and cosmic butterfly, you are being guided to pray to your angels, right? Just write down whatever is bothering you and just burn that paper, just throw it in, in the trash, right? And just really pray to your angels. Just, just take away all my pain, my anxiety. Just gift me with peace, with serenity. Bless me with peace and serenity. Okay, because definitely with the cosmic butterfly here, you could be seeing, actually, you could be seeing a lot of butterflies lately. That's a sign that there's some major transformation changes going on in your life. So you just really need to go with the flow instead of feeling all anxious and impatient right so yeah just really ground yourself guys this is this whatever this is this process has some purpose okay whatever is happening here you might feel that you know why is this happening what is the purpose it's it's all nonsense but really nothing there are no coincidence okay the universe is too smart 
to make mistakes like these. Everything has a reason, everything has a purpose. So just really trust the process and just go on with it. Yes, guardian of the soul family, you are being protected. Whatever this delay is, it's a protection from the divine. Okay, so yes, accept this gift. Oh, wow, we have intimacy. Hmm. So yes, this person does want to be intimate with you. They are coming in, whether you you are, you know, whether you expect it or not, they will be coming to you very, very soon. Just give them some time because they are contemplating fire and eyes. So this person could be at one hand, they could be feeling all these feelings for you, you know, the passion, the love. On the other hand, they could be feeling, you know, mentally very conflicted. Because, I don't know, there could be a lot of reasons here, guys. So there's a lot of anxiety. They're going down this, this spiral of anxiety, fear. Because they, they really need to understand. So give them some time. Because, yeah, they do have feelings for you is what I'm getting. And even though it's very contrasting to their mental conditioning, to their social conditioning, to what they feel and think, it's very contrasting everything. But they still want to be with you. They want to be very close to you here is what I'm, is, is what I'm getting from these pictures, the energy here. Okay, so you need to allow some time to yourself. And you know what? It's, it's actually great if you're getting some more time. It's great because then you are getting more time for yourself to do to do the work on yourself. Just work out. Just, you know, have a good time. Watch your favorite movies on Netflix or just go out with friends in nature. Just do whatever you feel like doing. Work out, okay? So, yeah, that's a great thing. You're getting more time in order uh, for, yes, for yourself to get prepared before you come and meet this person. So wow, that, that would be perfect, isn't it? If you get some time to work on yourself, just really better yourself in every way. So I would suggest just really take this time as a gift, as a blessing, and allow things to unfold on their own, guys. Don't feel this way if, if at all you've been feeling all over the place, your energy is all over the place. Don't feel that. It's okay. I know it's, we are all humans and we all feel that way every now and then. But, you know, just really ground yourself. Try and understand that it's all for your own good. Nothing is going against you. It's actually working in your favor, whether you can see it or not in the 3D. So let's see. Are there any messages? Let's see, you know what to do. So yes, whatever I just said. Love doesn't have to mean near. Yep. So again, if this person is distant right now, they're not coming in with communication, it's all right. Allow them some time. They know they love you. You know you love them. There's love here. So it really doesn't mean that you need to be, you know, physically close all the time. And in fact, you'll notice after a period of separation, of non-communication, when the lovers reunite, it's it's like it's it's brand new, right? It's like ignition, fireworks. So yeah, it, it's really refreshing, guys. Don't worry about it, okay? Convince yourself, not others. You glowy beam, yeah. So here's that two of cups. They find you really beautiful, but they think that you, both of you, you look really good together. You make a really good super couple, like a power couple. Start where you are. Yes, do the things that you love. Focus on yourself, guys. Love is the reason, see? They love you and you know that. Whether or not they're saying it to you on your face, they love you, okay? And they're taking some time out to convince themselves. Their heart already knows, but their mind needs some convincing perhaps. So they're taking some time out. Enjoy your extraordinary uniqueness, yes. 
focus on yourself. You are unique. This person knows that. They see your value. And they will be coming in very, very soon, if not in a week. This can perhaps, like, this can be within the next two weeks, in the next nine to ten days for some of you, yeah? But this person will come in definitely. They can't leave you alone, I think. It's just too hard for them. All right, guys, so this was our reading for the 22nd of November. I hope it resonated and helped you in some way. I'll see you in my next video. Much love and light. Take care. Bye.